I've got my eye on the radar this morning. I'm tracking a line of severe storms coming our way along with three alert days to break down. All that's coming up. Plus, the latest developments on Madison's east side where police are investigating an apparent homicide. And one person is dead after a weekend fire. We'll tell you what crews found when they arrived. Good morning, folks. Welcome to News for Now this morning on a Monday morning, June 13th. A very busy one at that. I'm Josh Breider. And I'm McKenna Alexander. Chris and Leah have the morning off. We want to start right away with meteorologist Chris Reese this morning with the latest on an alert day forecast. The storms today, then the heat, Chris. Yeah, storms today, then heat followed up with more storms and more heat. We're going to be busy over the next couple of days when it comes to your forecast here in the upper Midwest. But here's what I'm watching right now. It's already some thunderstorms that are developing. You see a lot of lightning and thunder trying to pop up across parts of southern Minnesota. More showers right now over Iowa, but all of this begins to play a role into the weather that we see later on this morning and into the afternoon. It all looks like a mess right now, but all this has done is set the stage for the sun to come up and destabilize the atmosphere and all that's going to be moving southeastward into an environment that's going to be a lot more conducive to see some of those showers and thunderstorms. Now I want to take a moment and say this is not a widespread severe weather outbreak, but nonetheless we have the higher chance for severe th severe weather right here across southern Wisconsin. That's where we do have that slight risk level two out of five to see those strong storms and that includes everyone. The entire viewing area has that slight risk to see the strong severe thunderstorms today. Now you break down the risks. The tornado threat is going to be best farther towards the south. There's a warm front that's going to be coming our way. The closer you are to that warm front, the better your odds are going to be to see any spin up tornadoes. As far as the hail, all of us could see quarter size hail today, if not greater. 60 to 70 mile per hour winds. That's going to be a possibility for all of us today as well. Farther towards the east, the closer you get towards the lake shore, that's where those winds could be a lot stronger. We're talking 75 or even 80 miles per hour with the winds, especially as you start to get some of that lake enhancement uh, right along the shoreline there. So let's time things out, all right? This is 930 in the morning. You're already starting to see those first signs, uh, thunderstorms crossing the Mississippi River at that point. Noon, Beloit, Janesville, Stoughton, Madison, Wanakee, all the way up through Portage, towards the Dells, towards Baraboo. This is when we need to watch the clock for some thunderstorms moving through. Anywhere from 11 a.m. to noon, maybe even a little bit later, this is when we could see our best threat for some of those severe thunderstorms. Here's the deal. You see where it's trying to arc out. You almost see the backward C shape trying to form. This is a high indicator of strong winds being a possibility. And this is the real reason that I'm harping on that wind threat today. Once we get beyond that, that'll push farther towards the east. Still some lingering thunderstorms behind it, and then eventually we'll start to clear things out later on this evening. That's when temperatures are going to top out into the lower 80s. Tomorrow, we are heating things up into the upper 90s for those highs. This is with full sun, too, so it's going to be blistering out. Then by Wednesday, we get ready to do it again. Another line of some thunderstorms begins to come our way. So you can prepare for the severe thunderstorms. And some of the ways you can do that include just simple planning ahead. Tie down those loose lawn items or bring them in all together. When it comes to a severe thunderstorm, those could be blowing all over the place. Charge devices in case of power outages, but also know your safe spot. Already know where you're going to take shelter. Don't try to plan that last minute when the storm is already coming towards you. Check your first aid kit, and as always, stay weather aware. And here's one of the ways that you can do that. If you take out your phone, open up the camera and point it towards the screen. It'll give you an opportunity to download the first warn weather app. We keep that updated all day long. A fresh video is getting ready to be on that app within the next hour with, it, with uh, preparation tips for the severe weather later on this morning and into the afternoon, along with the heat that's coming our direction on Tuesday. By the weekend, we'll start to cool things down. We'll dry out too. Busy week ahead for weather. Chris Reese, thank you very much. Turning now to the latest developments on Madison's east side, where police are investigating an apparent homicide. Officers arrived to that location.
damage in a neighborhood south of Northeast Park just before 530 yesterday morning for reports of a disturbance. There they found a 23 year old man with a chest wound. He was taken to an area hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police say a person of interest is in custody and there is no longer a threat to the community. It's still unclear what led to that incident. Staying in Madison, one person was found dead this weekend after an apartment fire. Crews were sent to the 700 block of Braxton Place just before 6 in the morning yesterday after 911 caller reported a burning smell coming from the complex. Firefighters reportedly found evidence of a fire that had been self-extinguished in an apartment building, but while searching the unit, one resident was found dead. Investigators don't believe the death is suspicious, though they are still investigating what exactly caused that fire. Looking ahead now, a portion of State Highway 16 near Fall River will be closed for construction this week. Starting Wednesday, crews will begin replacing a bridge over the Crawfish River. Drivers will be rerouted to County Highway A and State Highway 60 while the bridge is out. The project is expected to wrap up in September. Happening today, the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol attacks starts its second day of hearings. That hearing is expected to focus on the former president's efforts to spread falsehoods about a stolen election. Panel members say they've found enough evidence for the Justice Department to weigh a potential unprecedented criminal indictment against former President Trump for trying to overturn the 2020 election results. Ultimately, once the evidence is accumulated by the Justice Department, it needs to make a decision about whether it can prove to a jury beyond a reasonable doubt the president's guilt or anyone else's. Uh, but they need to be investigated uh, if there's credible evidence, which I think there is. If we have people in power, whether it's in politics or law enforcement or the military, if we have any people that are unwilling to put their oath above any loyalty to a person, no law matters. Former President Trump's 2020 campaign manager, Bill Stepien, is among those scheduled to testify today. Those hearings are expected to continue throughout the rest of the month. The Supreme Court could overturn Roe v. Wade as soon as today, leaving abortion laws up to each state. According to the latest update on their schedule, they will be handing down decisions today and Wednesday. A leaked draft opinion indicates that five justices were ready to wipe away the 50-year-old precedent set by Roe v. Wade. A poll shows 54% of Americans oppose a dramatic change in women's reproductive health rights. The justices still have 29 decisions remaining before their traditional summer break. As with any breaking news story, be sure to download the Channel 3000 mobile app and be the first to know. It's free to download in the App Store. Coming up on 607 this morning, local musicians are lending their talents to help ensure the future of a true American art form. We're talking about jazz this morning. Members of the All That Jazz big band, many of them former educators say they're giving back to the community. Our Talil Molding, more. As far as American art forms go, jazz is the only true original American art form. When all that jazz big band director Paul Heineke was asked to lend his talents for a cause, he didn't think twice. The band all agreed that that would be a great idea. Headlining Madison Jazz Society's concert fundraiser, free of charge. All That Jazz is helping make this year's event really special. This is the first year that in its entirety, everything about it is, is a fundraiser. The money raised going directly to help schools across the state bring jazz into the classroom and the history that comes with it. Because of the melting pot of all the people coming together um, and the different oppression and, <laughs> and expression, that happened in the United States, um, that music came alive. At a time when schools could use the extra help. Jazz education and music education in general has taken some real hits in their budgets. A former music teacher himself, Heineke knows how helpful these programs can be. For many, many years, we were able to purchase a lot of equipment and uh, just help our make our jazz program better. Even bringing in jazz artists in residence to get kids inspired. They'll do some improvisation with these children. Actually, kids are scatting in the classroom and uh, they're playing little instruments. Hoping to awaken the jazz spirit in the next generation. We're not going to be around forever. And we know that jazz is so important and we know that so many people enjoy jazz. Now, this fundraiser was just one part of Madison's Jazz Festival, which is happening all week. The events span across the city with additional concerts, discussions, and even a commemoration of jazz giant Duke Ellington's residency at UW-Madison in 1972. Coming up on 609 on a Monday morning. Still ahead for us, why a new law has banned the sale of infant sleep products. Consumer Reports has advice on what to avoid.
And a history made at the AmFam Championship this weekend. We'll share who won the tournament for the first time. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. These guys will buy our house without even seeing it. Online buyers make offers that seem attractive at first, only to lower or cancel at the last minute. We Buy Ugly Houses won't reduce or cancel our firm cash offers before closing. Call or click to sell quick. At McGann Furniture in Baraboo, we know that hardworking people want the most value for their money. When you shop at McGann, we've already sorted out and selected the brands that we feel offer you the most bang for your buck. From young couples just starting out to senior citizens, we offer a huge selection at prices that will fit your budget. Plus, most purchases include free delivery and setup. And remember, at McGann, we don't raise our prices only to lower them later for a sale. Discover the difference at McGann Furniture in downtown Baraboo. Get inspired. Tour 30 custom homes and see the newest trends. The Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns, is open daily June 17th through 26th. Visit madisonparadeofhomes.com for tickets and more information. Joe Biden opened America's borders, increasing the flow of deadly drugs into our communities. Last year, over 105,000 people died of drug overdoses in America. Biden's putting our children and families at risk. Ron Johnson is warning everyone that drug traffickers are adding fentanyl to counterfeit pills, and it only takes one pill to kill. Please tell your children and support law enforcement. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Whether it's game day, movie night, or just a busy day, it's always time for Papa Murphy's. And now you can get any medium two-topping pizza for just $6.99. That's right. The whole family can get exactly what they want any day of the week for any occasion. Any toppings, any sauce, only $6.99. Now that's meaty yum. If only everything else in life was like our deal. Papa Murphy's. We make great pizza so you can make the pizza great. Order online today at papamurphys.com. Visiting the Paco Credit Union was the thing that started all this. We had a lot of student loan debt, low credit scores for bad decisions we had made in our younger years. We thought it was the point where you could never come back from it. We've always wanted to own our own restaurant, so I just kind of floated the idea like, oh, I found this food truck. I was like, yeah, let's try it. DuPaco helped us so much with just putting everything together. Definitely life-changing for us. What we have right now would not have been possible without DuPaco Credit Union. Don't wait until the weekend to enjoy a thick charbroiled steak made to your liking. Make a weeknight steak night at High Point Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. Well worth the short drive to Ridgeway. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. Maybe these guys will buy our house. What could go wrong? Like rookie home buyers who can lower or cancel offers without notice. We Buy Ugly Houses won't reduce or cancel our firm cash offers before closing. Call or click to sell quick. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. With uh, such extreme temperatures this week, it's a good time to stay indoors and stay cool. But if you do have to spend a length of time outside, be on the lookout for signs of heat exhaustion or even worse, heat stroke. And the National Weather Service lays out the basic signs of both. For heat exhaustion, take note. If you begin to feel faint or dizzy, are sweating more than normal, feel nauseous, experience muscle cramps, or have a rapid and weak pulse. If you notice any of these symptoms, you should head into a cooler area and drink lots of water. Now for heat stroke, you need to see immediate help. If you feel confused or have a throbbing headache, have stopped sweating, your pulse is rapid and strong, or if you feel yourself begin to lose consciousness. If you feel any of these symptoms, you should call 911 immediately, get inside to cooler conditions, drink water, and submerge yourself in a cool but not freezing shower or bath. So because the potential for heat exhaustion and heat stroke is enhanced over these next few days, be sure to wear loose and light colored clothing. Wait until the evening to exercise outdoors or walk a pet and be extra aware of the increased risk to young children and older adults. Chris Reese here now with the first one brother. Chris, obviously you're talking about this hot, hot weather we're seeing this week. Yeah, absolutely, McKenna. And this is the reason that it's an alert day today. And again, as we start to move towards Tuesday and Wednesday, when it comes to really breaking down that heat 
heat and humidity. Awesome, great information that you shared. And now I want to really break down what we're looking at in terms of the weather. First and foremost, we have heat alerts anywhere from the Gulf Coast all the way up towards Lake Superior, including the upper Midwest. St. Louis, the Twin Cities under excessive heat warnings for the heat that's going to be coming down the pike. Meanwhile, all of southern Wisconsin, the entire viewing area is under a heat advisory. This is going to take us Tuesday through Wednesday at this point. Let's talk about some of the actual air temperatures out there. Tuesday, your forecast high. Air temperature 97 into Wednesday. We're talking about your air temperature forecast high right around 94 degrees. We'll cool down a bit this weekend. We'll be hot again as we start to move into parts of next week as well. But as you bring in the humidity and you factor that in, this is how hot it begins to feel Tuesday afternoon. We're talking triple digits is what it feels like. But here's the thing, and I don't think a lot of people realize this. Your temperature and your heat index, those are measured in the shade. So this is what it feels like in the shade as we go through the next couple of days. When you're out in the sun, it of course feels a lot worse. Even into Wednesday, we're talking feeling well above 100 degrees before we finally begin to cool things off. That being said, I'm always talking about ways that you can plan ahead and be prepared. That comes to the heat too. Changing out your air filters is really going to improve that airflow along with opening those AC vents. If you need to, we had a heat wave early May, so hopefully this has been done, but you may need to check those thermostat settings or have maintenance done on the AC. Another thing here in Wisconsin, we love a good beer, but hydrate. Choose water as you go through the next couple of days. It's going to keep you cooler. Here's my biggest call to action. This is what's most important to me. Growing up in Texas, you always heard of kids and pets and the elderly being left in hot cars and that ended in tragedy. We have not had this story happen so far this year in Wisconsin, and I want to keep it that way. This is how hot it gets inside your car in a matter of minutes when it is 90 degrees. So check the back seat. Do not, under any circumstances, leave pets, people, or kids in the back seat. All right, Chris Reese, thank you. Around the state this morning, just one day after playing in the Anthem Championship Celebrity Foursome, Packers legend Brett Favre headed north for the Donald Driver Charity Softball Game. This used to be Favre's event before he left Green Bay. Yesterday's game drew a large crowd at Fox City Stadium as former and current players went up against one another to help raise money for the Donald Driver Foundation as well as other charities. There were also a couple of other special guests and they were all excited to be out and about for a great cause. It's great to have our players out here with some Packer legends and to get to know those guys and also to be around our guys outside of the building. An amazing experience. Um, you know, it's always, it's always great just to get around guys who've been in your spot and, you know, are now playing at the highest level. So um, being around guys like A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones and guys who, you know, have been in my shoes and um, are at where I want to get to. So it's always a good uh, opportunity. The charity game raised $150,000 for the Donald Driver Foundation, which aims to serve underprivileged children and families. Well, in the final day of the AmFam Championship, back-to-back -back champ Jerry Kelly kept his eye on a three-peat at University Ridge. Kelly was in it until the very end on the last hole, but with a chance for a tie at the top, Kelly misses the putt. Kelly finishes at 12 under, tied for third, two shots behind this year's champ at Tong Chai Jai Di. I putted well, they just didn't go in this time, but I gave myself some good looks. Uh, I don't know, I, was, I mean, I was really happy with the way things were going, and I was kind of expecting them to drop. Okay, any time now, and then I just I ran out of holes and didn't make them. I mean, I hit so many good putts that just didn't go, but uh, no, I'm, I'm proud of the way I played. Like Kelly, Edgerton native Steve Stricker got hot during the final round. The tournament host birdied at 12, 13, and 14, but then ran out of gas, parring the final four holes to card a five under final round. Stricker finished nine under, tied for 11th, and knows it was just a little too late to put everything together. A little late, you know, to join the party, but it was um, some better things today. I putted off, although I didn't birdie into the par fives uh, today. It could have been a real special round, but. Um, <coughs> Just uh, didn't get it in the hole very well. In other news this morning, after a new law passed banning two dangerous infant sleep products, bringing long sought relief to many parents, Consumer Reports explains the details of the new law and what other sleep products not covered by the law parents should stay away from. I'm grateful to our lawmakers for helping us protect babies when the manufacturers won't. 
Sarah Thompson's 15-year-old son, Alexander, died while in a Fisher-Price rock-and-play sleeper back in 2011. The popular children's product was on the market for a decade before it was finally recalled in 2019 after a Consumer Reports investigation revealed dozens of deaths tied to the rock-and-play and other infant-inclined sleepers. The reason? The design of the product, specifically their incline, makes them inherently dangerous for infant sleep. And finally, last month, President Biden signed into law the Safe Sleep for Babies Act Act, which officially bans inclined sleepers and crib bumper pads, both of which are unsafe for infant sleep and together have been linked with close to 200 reported deaths. This legislation is an absolutely critical step to help parents and caregivers keep their babies out of unsafe sleep environments. People should be able to trust that if infant sleep products are for sale, they're safe. Still, there are products marketed for sleep not covered by the act that also don't conform to pediatricians' recommendations for how babies should be put to bed, like infant hammocks and in-bed sleepers. Later this year, a strong federal rule covering infant sleep products goes into effect, but until that happens, CR is urging parents to stop using anything that does not follow best safe sleep practices. Babies should sleep alone on their backs on a firm, flat surface without any soft objects or bedding in a product covered by federal standards such as cribs, play yards, and bassinets. There is no place on store shelves or online for infant products that fail to align with expert safe sleep guidelines. I know that Alexander is looking down from heaven and happy that we've worked so so hard to prevent any more infant deaths in inclined sleepers. Coming up and trending this morning, our favorite four-legged friends take... Channel 3000 Plus. Watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. When pain says, it's time to go home, I say, not yet. Aleve, who do you take it for? We're not just massage envy. We're also facials that get your skin glowing envy. We're talking, dang girl, you look good kind of envy. Right, tell me your secret and lunch is on me. <laughs> because a regular massage envy facial routine is an amazing way to look better. Massage envy facials, where better begins. The increasing cost of inflation is impacting people and families here in central Wisconsin. The D.C. liberal spending has triggered historic inflation. Senator Ron Johnson is holding the line. Retirees on a fixed income. Uh, the working poor, those are exactly the people that are hurt most by inflation. Inflation is a tax on everybody. Johnson voted against the reckless spending, and he's fighting to cut the waste in Washington. Tell Senator Johnson, keep fighting to stop the spending that hits us with the inflation tax. Can a cream really reduce wrinkles? In blind clinical testing, more than 100 women tried Revitalift Triple Power Moisturizer following a dedicated clinical protocol. A dermatologist showed me my results. It was pretty astonishing to see that my smile lines and the wrinkles have diminished. It is proven. Triple Power visibly reduces wrinkles, firms, and brightens. A few of my friends saw me. They're like, wow. I saw results in one week. It really made me feel and look a lot younger. It absolutely works. Revitalift Triple Power Moisturizer from L'Oreal Paris. It does what it says. Simple as that. Oh, love that Chevy Blazer. That's our next SUV. Love that Equinox. That's our next SUV. Nice trailblazer. It was love at first sight. What? The Chevy family of SUVs. Find new options. Find new roads. It's Chevy Sport Utility Spring. Well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing or get a 1250 cash allowance on all 2022 Equinox models. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all, making sure everyone felt welcome, sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard, greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care, believing a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. your energy giving back to your community fueling your drive to deliver hope for neighbors in need at alliant energy we're creating more clean renewable energy every single day to power what matters to you because even during the most powerful moments in our lives we're not thinking about power we're thinking about a brighter future alliant energy powering beyond 
We're back at 623 right now. KCG coming in hot with another good photo there. A lot of greenery, a lot of clouds. Coming in hot, this photo is hot. Coming in hot. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> <laughs> everything's gonna be, everything's coming hot. Coming in hot, the photo is hot, it's gonna be hot. It's just mm. hot. <laughs> Welcome to Hot News 3 Now this morning. Yeah, we are hot. <laughs> Look at it. There you go. Oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, if you've got a photo you'd like to share with us, please do so by using the hashtag MyNewsFreeMorning, whether it's hot or not. <laughs> we accept it all. All right, well, trending this morning at 624, the best K-9 athletes trying their hand at surfing. Go ahead and check this out. It was the 25th annual Prina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge and Surf Competition in California. Dogs of all shapes and sizes hit the tides this weekend. The competition also involved dogs competing in high-flying disc routines, agility courses, and dock diving, which is where dogs take, take a leap off a 40-foot dock into a giant pool. I just can't get over how they stay, and look at that. They, they, how do you train a dog. They are literally riding the wave. You can see them like bracing they, themselves. They like know how to do like... it. So my girlfriend's dog actually does dock diving competitions. What? <laughs> you know, that how I, you I into never that? heard of it until we started until we started dating. But she does dock diving uh, competitions, and, and how the dog got interested in it, uh, they were going to Is a lake, and she choice? was running down a dock, and she like tried to brace, and she slipped and fell in. And she loved it, and then from that point, she would intentionally get on the dock and run off and jump in. It's a metaphor. Oh, Sometimes yeah. you end up in the wrong place, and yeah. then you love it. And then I you love it. How they had the, the life jackets, the goggles, all you the gotta look good if you're well. surfing. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's the one dog, and it had like the goggles. I was like, can it see? Yeah. Is it just feeling the wave <laughs> on at this point? Like, oh, I was like, what gosh. is going on? I was like, that dog cannot see a thing. But crazy. Yeah. We got to keep water out of the ice, right? Yeah. There you go. All right. Yeah. Well, we got safety in mind here in the 608 this week. Yeah, keeping the sweat off the brow because it is going to be hot and then we also have that chance for some thunderstorms as well that being said it's comfortable now 56 as you head out the door dew points are in the 40s dew points are in the 60s though just to our west across parts of Iowa and Minnesota planning out the day we're going to see our own showers and thunderstorms from midday and into the early parts of the afternoon you're breaking down the threats tornadoes are going to be mainly to the south but we could see hail and high wind as well you really need to be prepared for the high wind coming our way all right, thanks, Chris, and thanks for joining us. We have more news coming up for you in just a few minutes. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's a short drive to big adventure at the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium in the Port of Dubuque. General admission gets you access to all exhibits for two consecutive days. Plan your adventure at rivermuseum.com. <laughs> mm. mm. <laughs> Milk chocolate beyond words. Classic recipe by Lindt. Summer fun means one thing. It's time to visibly say goodbye to crow's feet, fine lines, wrinkles, and under-eye bags and say hello to smooth, beautiful, younger-looking skin in 10 minutes with Plexiderm. Oh, my God. I can't believe I have no lines in my face. I'm, like, 20 years younger. Plexiderm smooths away wrinkles without foundation, without color makeup, and without expensive procedures. And it works in 10 minutes. Plus, the results last up to 10 hours. And best of all, you could try it for only $14.95 this summer. This isn't the first time I've been on TV raving about this product. It's amazing. My friends, my family, they can't believe it. There's been creams, there's been lotions. Nothing works like this. We were away on vacation. If you go down to the islands, they always want to take you in a booth and put some stuff on you. And my husband said, boy, that stuff really works. And I said, I washed this off hours ago. This is Plexiderm. This is what works. When I tried Plexiderm the first time, my daughter said, oh, Dad, did you get a haircut? And I said, no, nah, I tried this Plexiderm product out. Oh, you look so much younger. I said, oh, thank you. The instant results are from naturally-based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms, rapidly reducing under-eye bags and wrinkles from view in minutes. The science is incredible, but the results are even better. No, this looks really good. All these lines are gone. Amazing. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I look amazing. It's like so full of myself. <laughs> I've had under
under eye bags for a very long time and it sucks. Finally, I tried something called Plexiderm. I put it on my face and I'm not joking, it works. So take action this summer and pack up your under eye bags and wrinkles and put them on vacation with Plexiderm. Try our summertime special and get it for only $14.95. Plus get free shipping. Visit PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. I got nothing to eat. Nothing. Hold on, I can do something. Turning nothing into something. Turning nothing into something. It's amazing what you can do with nothing and a little helpless. It's time to get up close and personal with nature while getting hands-on with science. Make plans to visit the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium in the Port of Dubuque, Iowa for new exhibits, new films, and new experiences. Right now, Senate negotiators announce a move on guns in a bipartisan deal. We have the latest reaction. Plus, when the U18 U.S. girls hockey team has the chance to go for gold in the world championships. And we do continue to watch the radar this morning. Showers and thunderstorms getting ready to move in to the state of Wisconsin. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday and welcome to News 3 Now on June 13th. I'm McKenna Alexander. And I'm Josh Ryder. Chris and Leah both have the morning off. We're going to start right away with that certified most accurate forecast. Chris Reese at the desk with us. And boy, you've got a busy few days on tap. Yeah, lots of alert days. Three to be exact. Two, though, feature severe weather. The other two feature extreme heat. So, yeah, we're really watching things. And we're going to start off watching the radar for you this morning. Already, we're tracking a lot of those showers and thunderstorms that you're seeing across parts of the upper Midwest from the Dakotas into Minnesota. We're seeing a lot of that shower thunderstorm activity. In fact, south of the Twin Cities starting to move towards I-35. We've got to keep an eye on this cluster of some showers and thunderstorms as it starts to move because all of that gets steered right into parts of southern Wisconsin. And as it moves farther to the south and east, it moves into an environment that's going to be a little bit more conducive to see shower and thunderstorm activity across parts of the state. This is the reason we have that slight risk level two out of five across the entire viewing area for severe thunderstorms as we go throughout today. That being said, let's really break down the risk threat by threat here. Tornadoes are going to be possible, but they were better on to that are going to be farther to the south. We're going to be a little bit closer to a warm front that's going to be moving towards the north. All of us could see quarter size tail. All of us could see 60 to 70 mile per hour winds, but you see these black hash marks closer towards the lake shore. This is where 70, 75 or even 80 mile per hour winds are going to be a possibility. That being said, Let's look at future track. Here's how I expect things to play out. 930, the storms are back towards the west. By noon, they're right on top of us. And if we end up with a Boeing segment, watch out. This is where you really could see a lot of those high winds moving through. That'll continue to push farther towards the east, perhaps some lingering storms behind it. Then we'll actually clear out in time for the evening. You'll get a good sunset. Temperatures will still top out into the 80s. Tomorrow, it's all about the heat, friends. We're going to be warming things up into the mid and upper 90s for those highs on Tuesday by early Wednesday morning. We already see that next line of some showers and thunderstorms trying to move into the mix. I'm all about preparing. I am all about planning ahead. Here is what you can do when it comes to being ready for those thunderstorms out there today. Bring in or tie down those loose lawn items. If you get a big thunderstorm, those become projectiles, my friends, but also charge devices. If for any reason you lose power, it's going to be great to have that device charged up. Also, know your safe spot in advance. When the storm is right on you, now's not the time to be figuring out where you're going to take shelter. It's good to know where you're going to take shelter already. So plan that out early. Check your first aid kit to make sure it's good to go and stay weather aware. Here's one of the ways you can do that. I'm giving you another opportunity to download the first one weather app. Take out your phone, open up the camera, point it at the screen. It will take you exactly where you need to go to get that app updated. That app will alert you when severe weather is near your location or when lightning is close by as well. If you want to check it throughout the day, we update videos frequently all day long with the latest weather information, what to expect and how you can be prepared for that. Again, 97 on Tuesday, 94 on Wednesday. Cooler though by the weekend with a sunny stretch as well.
All right, Chris Reese, thank you. 633 right now, a bipartisan group of senators have struck a deal to, quote, protect America's children, keep our schools safe, and reduce the threat of violence across the country. 20 senators, 10 Democrats, and 10 Republicans signing a statement expressing support for the plan. Now, the deal does not include provisions for raising the minimum age to buy a gun. However, it does propose spending billions of dollars on mental health care and school security. The framework still needs to be formally written before it can be put to a vote. I will put this bill on the floor ASAP as soon as possible so that Congress can quickly act to do something meaningful against gun violence. NRA officials say they will not respond to the framework announcement until it sees the full text of any proposed gun control bills. Meanwhile, gun control advocates already considering the deal as an important step forward. This is something, this is substantially more than we've seen in decades uh, from Congress. Is this everything that I want? Definitely not, but it is something. President Biden also commenting on the agreement, thanking the bipartisan group on Twitter. He also wrote in part, the measure does not do everything he thinks is needed, but it does reflect important steps in the right direction. More local news now. The search for a missing 26-year-old man continues this morning with dive and rescue teams searching the Little Wolf River over the weekend. According to the Wapaka County Sheriff's Office, Brandon Colligan was last seen Friday morning. He had met a friend for coffee in Stevens Point, but left the shop to get an item he said he had forgotten. Colligan never returned and his friend said he was acting strange. His vehicle was later found abandoned near a family member's home in Royalton with his phone and wallet still inside. Police in Idaho this weekend arresting 31 men from inside a U-Haul truck near a Pride event with officers saying the group was a quote small army with intentions to riot. Uh, it is clear from uh, to us based on the gear that the individuals had all with them uh, the stuff they had um, in the possession and in the U-Haul with them, along with paperwork that was seized from them, that they came to riot downtown. The group appears to be associated with a white nationalist hate group. Police say the group had shields, shin guards, and at least one smoke grenade. The men came from all around the country. The man accused of shooting and killing a woman in a Wisconsin Dells hotel room last year will be appearing in court today. Jeremy Mondi is charged with first-degree intentional homicide with a domestic abuse modifier. A judge found probable cause to charge him in August of last year. Today is his scheduling conference hearing in Columbia County. His jury trial is set to start in November. To the crisis in Ukraine now, officials in Ukraine reporting that their troops have outgunned 10 to 1 in the eastern portion of the country. Now this comes as troops continue to wait for American weapons that as of now are still weeks away. As they await the aid, Russian troops now reportedly using food as a weapon. It comes to the form of a medieval attack, desolating crops with bombs and salting the earth that's left behind. With nearly half of Ukraine struggling to find enough food already, 25 million tons of grain remain in Ukrainian port blockades. We are getting shot at every day. Uh, it's like uh, your house is on fire and the people in this house are dying and your guests are actually asking to cover the table and serve a dinner. The UN says if the grain can't get out of Ukraine into eastern Africa, there will be a, quote, hurricane of global hunger. Wildfire season continues out west this morning, this time a fire sparking just six miles north of Flagstaff, Arizona. It's already burned more than 4,500 acres. Fire officials say it was reported just after 10 o'clock yesterday morning and continues to be active on all sides. An incident management team requested by the National Forest Service is on their way. The, US, the U18 U.S. girls hockey team has the chance to go for gold in the world championships tonight. The team gets to do it right here in Madison at Lapon Ice Arena. Last night, the U.S. played Sweden, who were leading in the third period, but the U.S. girls got a late game rally to secure a spot in tonight's championship game. They'll have a rematch with Canada, who they beat 7-0 to zip earlier in the tournament. If you don't have tickets to see it happen, you'll have to catch the highlights because Lapon is already sold out. Well, Pride Month is not just about parties. Its roots are in protests, and local advocates say it's an important thing to highlight. Earlier this month, city and state leaders marked the beginning of Pride Month by raising the Progress Pride flag for the first time. During his remarks, Governor Evers acknowledged the ongoing fight for LGBTQ plus rights, citing bills in Wisconsin and around the country, including Florida's controversial so-called Don't Say Gay Bill. Mark Long, with the nonprofit called Upswing that focuses on equity for marginalized groups, says those pieces of legislation highlight why Pride is more than just a party. In almost a um, not attack on our community, but it kind of a way to set us back in a way where we have to seek a little bit more opportunities to advocate for ourselves. 
Long says an important cause to support is funding mental health support for marginalized individuals, especially LGBTQ plus youth and those of color. And if you have a chance tonight to get outside and look into the sky, make sure to do so, because happening tonight, one of the annual supermoon sightings is beginning. The strawberry moon will start to look larger and brighter tonight, but it won't reach its closest point to the Earth until tomorrow. It gets its name because of the strawberry harvest that starts taking place this time of year. This will be the brightest moon of the year because of how close it passes Earth. 638 is your time. We've got an alert day in store on this Monday for the chance of severe weather. Live look outside as Chris Reese is tracking those storms moving into Wisconsin already this morning and as that extreme heat is kicking in this week as well. Also had highlights from the 75th annual Tony Wards on CBS. We'll be right back. Before treating your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, you're not the only one with questions about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start, with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you, and if a sample is available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Botox. Hey, this one's free. Car in front of you pay for it. The best things in life are free. This is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Just wait till she hears about free installation from Feldco. <gasps> free installation? Reinstallation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest until 2024. That's something to get excited about. Reinstallation ends soon. Call now. Low quality windows, siding, and doors. Call 866 for Feltco. There's a reason President Trump endorsed Tim Michaels for governor. I'm not a politician. I'm a businessman who helped build a great Wisconsin company and created thousands of jobs. President Trump called Tim Michaels an America first conservative who will support the Second Amendment, honor law enforcement, and stand strong against the woke mob. If you want to see Madison turned upside down, then I'm asking for your vote. Tim Michaels, endorsed by President Trump for governor. When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. And air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. The cleaning improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible. So call for a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. The News 3 Now Call for Action team, getting results for you. When a local woman was taken advantage of by a car dealership, we took action and helped her get back nearly $10,000. After going through you, it's just like, you can breathe. Call for Action, only on News 3 Now. News 3 Now is always on. Download the Channel 3000 app and you'll have access to the News 3 Now newsroom in the palm of your hand. The Channel 3000 app, get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. Watching Madison's fastest growing newscast, News 3 Now This Morning. We're back at 642 right now. We're turning to a special story from our very own Charlotte Deleste this morning. When her father passed away at the beginning of this year, she found herself in possession of bins of medical equipment that was meant to be used on a mission trip to the Philippines. Now the story isn't about Charlotte or her dad, but it's about those she met like him, who know we have it pretty good here in the U.S. And it's important to help others in need and share what we can in order to make our world healthier and happier. <laughs> What started in 1999, when Dr. Bernie Mickey and a group of physicians traveled to Camagüey, Cuba. We pretty much saw that they were doing really good medicine, but lacked stuff. Turned into return trips, with doctors packing suitcases with medical supplies. Even 
gloves and suture and things that we really take for granted here. The idea grew into Dr. Mickey and Dr. Jack Kenny's Wisconsin Medical Project in 2003. For nearly 20 years now, they've collected just about everything. Gloves, syringes, catheters, blood pressure machines, exam tables, you name it. Most come from hospitals, clinics, and facilities across South Central Wisconsin, bound for Cuba, and now Africa. What uh, these um, Wisconsin medical projects are doing, um, they can measure the impact. They have to be there to witness that. Yokuba Traore is a volunteer and from Africa's Ivory Coast, where outside the cities, people struggle. When you go to the rural part of the country, uh, there's a lack of equipment. <clears throat> and so this is a lifeline to this population. Yokuba was there last November when the 40-foot container arrived. He saw people in need receiving the life-changing durable goods. Someone thinks his birth was crawling because he couldn't work. And then all of a sudden he's getting at age 25, 26, a first world chair that he can be independent. He says Wisconsin Medical Project is a perfect example of the Wisconsin idea, making sure what we do here has an impact on the rest of the world. The retired physicians here taking their time, taking their energy and their money, collecting uh, medical supplies to send to far away uh, land where they have not foot, set foot there, they don't even know the people, and they're doing that from the good of their heart. Folks who volunteer twice a week to sort, catalog, pack, tape, wrap, and move supplies that are guaranteed to make a world of difference. We are very lucky here in the United States. We need to really think more globally, more equitably about the world. Charlotte, to last day reporting there. Remember, you don't have to be in the medical field to help your organization. They could use some pediatric gear like wheelchairs and other mobility equipment. They'll even take your old leg braces. Also, money too. It costs about six to seven thousand dollars to ship a single container. You can check out our website for all their needs. Charlotte left us just an example here. Small part here. Some braces uh, sitting on the desk for us this morning again. Any of these little things can make a big difference. Absolutely. Even if it's something small in your attic or basement that you think, you know, just collecting dust, go in there, search through some boxes. You could find something that could really, really help people out. Yeah, beautiful story there by our Charlotte Delesse. If you want to learn more, just go to channel3000.com. Chris Reese here now with your first one weather, tracking three alert days this week. Yeah, this time we're going to take a moment to break down the two that are focusing on the heat. That's going to be Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs will be in the 90s. In fact, 97 is the expected high on Tuesday. The record for that 95, the heat index well above 100 for both days. But from the Gulf Coast towards Lake Superior, we do have some sort of heat bulletin, whether that's heat advisories, excessive heat warnings, or excessive heat watches in play from West Virginia through Cincinnati all the way towards parts of Southern Michigan, where those are. But for us right here in Wisconsin, we do have heat advisories. This is for all of us and that's going to take you through Wednesday before we're finally going to start to cool things down 97 on Tuesday 94 on Wednesday 84 by Thursday got to feel like a breath of fresh air at that point especially as we get towards Friday where we're struggling to get those temperatures out of the 70s but you factor in the humidity and we begin to heat things up keep in mind that temperature and your feels like temperature, your heat index, this is what it feels like in the shade. So when you are out in the sun, it feels a whole lot worse than this. But that's Tuesday afternoon, even into Wednesday afternoon, we're talking feeling above 100 when it comes to that heat and humidity out there. So I helped you prepare for the storms. Let's prepare for that heat as well. That includes changing your air filters and open up the AC vents, but also check the thermostat. If you need to do any AC maintenance, it's gonna be a little late at this point, but try to get that done if you can. 
and hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. That's the biggest piece of advice I can give you. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. To more local news now, Fool's Flotilla returned to Madison this weekend. The event allows people to bring canoes, kayaks, and other floatable objects to the Yahara River. Boaters dressed in costumes floated down the river in a boat parade, with one organizer telling us that holding events like this helps people appreciate the city's natural sources of fun. We really believe that when people come to the river and experience it and enjoy it, then they want to protect it. And so it's, uh, it's a great event to get people together and have fun and enjoy our water. The event is a part of the annual Marquette Waterfront Festival. Well, Strange Loop triumphed at the Tonys, the show about a black gay writer struggles to create his own musical and break free of self-doubts, won the Tony for Best Musical. With that win, co-producer Jennifer Hudson joined the elite group of people to have won an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and a Tony. Its creator, Michael R. Jackson, was given a standing ovation when he won for the show's book. I started writing this musical when I was 23 years old. I'm 41 years old. I'm old as hell. I felt unseen. I felt unheard. I felt misunderstood. And I just wanted to create a little bit of a life raft for myself as a black gay man to, under, to try to just get through the neck, through the day. Very well deserved there. The landmark Stephen Sondheim Musical Company won Best Musical Revival, the cast honoring Sondheim, who died in November. 6.49 this morning, coming up in the morning sprint, the latest on gas prices still on the rise this week. But first, if you have a little kid turning three soon, please let us know so we can show their picture on TV. Thanks for watching News 3 Now this morning. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. It's time to march into Green Tag Savings. Get your John Deere S200 Series with 4.9% for 60 months. Or John Deere X3s, 5s, and 7s with 1.9% for 48 months. Power up with Sloan's. How will you mow? Find out today at Sloan's. Migraine hits hard, so you hit back with Ubrelvi. You level up. You won't take a time out. One dose of Ubrelvi works fast. It can quickly stop migraine in its tracks within two hours without worrying if it's too late or where you are. Unlike older medicines, Ubrelvi is a pill that directly blocks a protein believed to be a cause of migraine. Do not take with strong 6-3-A-4 inhibitors. Most common side effects were nausea and tiredness. Migraine pain relief starts with you. Learn how Appy could help you save. Ask about Ubrelvi, the anytime, anywhere migraine medicine. Are you suffering from neuropathy? Do you experience stabbing pain, numbness, tingling, or burning in your feet? Are you tired of sleepless nights and avoiding life due to pain? If you've been diagnosed with neuropathy or are experiencing pain or numbness in your feet, pick up the phone and call us right now before it's too late. Neuropathy is a very serious and progressive disease where your nerves start to break down. Eventually, it leads to balance problems, falls, complete loss of independence, and often amputation. Our program addresses the underlying causes and doesn't simply mask your symptoms with medication. In fact, many patients start experiencing relief from their neuropathy symptoms within weeks. There's no surgery and no use of prescription drugs. Pick up the phone right now and call the number on your screen to find out if you're a candidate for our neuropathy program that has changed thousands of lives. You don't have to spend another day suffering. Call us today and see if you qualify for the relief you deserve. Do not wait. Call now. The challenges we face today feel monumental. Inflation, gas prices, and now an unthinkable threat to a woman's right to choose. I'm Alex Lazary, and I have a track record of getting things done. That's how you know I'll work for you. By lowering prescription drug prices, putting more money into people's pockets, and protecting every woman's right to choose, no matter what. This is why we must defeat Ron Johnson and start meeting our challenges head on. That's why I approve this message. Don't wait until the weekend to enjoy a thick charbroiled steak made to your liking. Make a weeknight steak night at High Point Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. Well worth the short drive to Ridgeway. Contact Culligan, your local water expert. It's time to march into Green Tag Savings. Get your John Deere Z300 or 500 series with 4.9% for 60 months. Or John Deere Z700 0.9% for 36 months. Power up with Sloan's. How will you mow? Find out today at Sloan's. Next Door and Window. Visit nextdoorandwindow.com. 
6.53 now, time for the morning sprint. FDA vaccine advisors are set to meet this week to discuss authorizing emergency use for Moderna's COVID vaccine for children ages six months through five years old. They will also vote on Pfizer's vaccine for kids six months to four years. Pending those decisions, the CDC will make final recommendations about the vaccines. Last week, 10 million vaccine doses were made available to pre-order for children under five. Millions more will be ready to go in the coming weeks. Americans are grappling with inflation at a four-decade high got another jolt to the pocketbook this week. The national average price of a gallon of gas surpassed $5 for the first time ever, according to AAA. Wisconsin is still under that at an average of $4.91 a gallon, as California still leads the way, with the highest gas prices at well above $6 a gallon for regular. The House Select Committee investigating the Capitol Hill riot will hold its second public hearing this morning. Committee members say they will present evidence tying the events of January 6th to former President Trump's claims that he won the 2020 election. They will begin at 9 this morning. More than a week after a former Juneau County judge was shot dead in his home near New, near New Lisbon, community members gathering together this weekend to remember his legacy. The vigil for Judge John Raymer gave the community a chance to pay tribute to a longtime fixture in Juneau County's justice system. System. The man accused in his killing, 56-year-old Douglas Udy, later died after turning the gun on himself. Madison Children's Museum brought back its annual summer festival to Capitol Square this weekend in the heart of downtown. Summer Palooza included a parade, live entertainment, and multiple activities for the whole family on the streets outside of the museum. The annual event took the last couple of years off of the streets due to the pandemic. After the parade, the Children's Museum had free admission for the remainder of their hours. Senate negotiators have reached an agreement agreement on a framework to reform the nation's gun laws. The bipartisan group of 10 Democrats and 10 Republicans will introduce legislation focusing on limiting some gun sales and increasing federal support for mental health services and school security. It was six years ago yesterday that 49 people were killed when a man opened fire at Pulse nightclub in Orlando. More than 50 people were wounded in that shooting. A service was held at the First United Methodist Church of Orlando less than two miles away from the popular gay club and included songs by the Orlando Gay chorus. Florida's governor signed a proclamation ordering flags in the state be flown at half staff to honor the victims. The Brewers able to break their eight game losing streak that spanned 10 days. Adama's helping the crew with a hot bat able to hit a double to get a runner across the base and later scored his team leading 11th home run of the season. They head to New York to play the Mets tomorrow. Former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin will be on the ballot for a special election to fill the state's seat in Congress. Palin led the 48 candidate field after a preliminary count conducted last night. The top four advance to the August 16th general election. We have multiple alert days in the forecast. Today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, all alert days. Today and Wednesday, both are going to feature strong, severe thunderstorms with high winds, hail, and isolated tornadoes. Tomorrow and Wednesday are both going to feature unseasonably hot temperatures into the 90s. Already some thunderstorms getting going this morning. Those are all going to be working their way into Wisconsin before all is said and done. We've got to keep a close watch on what happens back towards the west as it moves farther to the east and moves into an environment that's going to be a little bit more conducive for strong to severe thunderstorms. Planning out the day, look for those showers of thunderstorms on the increase late morning through early afternoon. We heat things up into tomorrow. All right, Chris Reese, thank you. And thank you all so much for joining us on a Monday morning. Make it a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow.